this property tour. Might break the internet. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so heavy. This camera is so heavy. I'm gonna give this back to Diego. Oh, my arms. All right, what's up everybody? We're back here for another tour. We're here at 1200 Bel Air. We are in Los Angeles. And you know what? I wanna make this a little bit more formal, but have a ton of fun right now. I've just peeked into this house. Like, oh my God. I have never seen anything like this before. You know, I'm building up LA. We've got a lot going on. Operations are slowly getting set up here. And so I wanna see the market. I wanna see what these houses are like before I completely come in and take over the world. Look at this door. Wow. Yeah. That is a door. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Hey. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is Diego slash everyone on YouTube watching right now. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yeah. What on earth? Welcome to the eighth wonder of the world. I know. Yeah, so you come in here, ceiling automatically pops up 23 feet tall. Wow. Some of the most epic views you're gonna find anywhere in LA. Holy. You get downtown all the way clear across the city, the Century City, from the upper deck you even get some ocean. And I've heard that there's like a live dinosaur in this house. Well, not a live dinosaur technically. Okay, so someone but, yeah, lied to me. Yeah. There is a oh, dinosaur, but a, you know, technically not a live one. How big is this house? It's somewhere in the neighborhood of around 36,000 square feet. Got it. How yeah. many bedrooms? About 12. Insane. Yeah. It's brand new, right? It's brand new construction. Yeah. Took five years to create. Oh shit. So all the furniture is by a company called La Contesina, all included, super high-end furniture brand out of Italy. Okay. Um, but like, let's talk about this for a second. So this wall, 41 individual slabs of marble that, will, that were hand carved here on site and then put into this like woven basket pattern. This took them weeks just to, again, 41 individual slabs hand carved here on site and then pieced together like this. What an opening moment. Totally. And if you look around the house with the exception of the ceilings, there's no drywall in this house. Every single surface is covered with some type of different material. This is uh, an imperial marble. I mean, every single surface has some type of different finish on it. Now, before we go outside, yeah. like you've got your bar here. You have one of your bars here. Yeah, there are three proper bars. This house was built for entertaining. 100%. You don't want to be alone in a 36,000 square foot house. It, this, was this house built for like Bob and Susie and two and a half kids? I don't think Bob and Susie are buying this. No, I think that this is probably like a Saudi Royal or maybe some, I mean, look, it could be from, you know, it, 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 that's the beauty of LA is that like, it's such Literally a melting anybody. pot of people from all over the world. But Who have $140 million to spend on a house. Exactly. Can we see the TV? I would love to see the TV. I'm not sure why we're not seeing the TV. TV, <laughs> TV gods, can you open the TV? Dun, dun, yeah. dun. It was like a clapper. We just had bum, to. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. I feel like the house is about to take off. <laughs> Diego, can you see that? Like the sound, it's like the wing flap is opening, right? It actually like does space, sound like, like a, a fucking, spaceship. like a rocket ship. All of a sudden the house off. starts vibrating. It starts moving. This is how I would watch every one of our YouTube property tours. I would just sit out here and be like, rise the 23 foot screen. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not the music I thought was coming. Now I'm totally taken by surprise. Wow. LA is so crazy. I would just blast this all the time if I lived here. This is crazy. Are these lit up swings? Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite features. I love these. Jay, before we go, I have to do like a TikTok on these swings. Okay. Y'all, I was supposed to go to Target. I don't know how I ended up here. This is fun. Yeah, I know. Like, what? Like, who, who comes up with this? Like, wait, 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 let's spend more money. 
<laughs> where should you spend it? Like, where should, where should you put it? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we ain't spend enough money. You'll see, I mean, they skimped on literally nothing. Zero which, things. Look, dude, if you're gonna spend $140 million, you don't skimp on anything. All right, let's go check out the kitchen real quick. The kitchen is done by Arclinia. There's like gold locks on the back of the bar stools. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is all custom La Contesina. The owner traveled to and from Italy several times over the five years that he was constructing this house just to like hand select every single stitch of furniture in here. I mean, I know it sounds like cliche to say in our industry, but like there was no stone unturned. Well, they did unturn it and they brought it all yeah, here. <laughs> exactly. They took all the stone from Italy and they brought it into this house. Cool little features that, oh. Just to have this on the table. The table is just a little low. It's just in case, like, if you want it like you're entertaining and you want to be able to put a drink on it, cool. And then it's like, you know what? Actually, I want to sit here and have dinner. And you right. just lower it. Cheers then. Sorry, dude. Because, you know, just why the hell not? All the dollars. Yeah. All right, check this out out here. There's a moat that goes all the way around the property. Oh, dude, so we're protected from sharks. Sure. Because, yeah, they're a real threat here in LA. Dude, the cliff at the other yeah, end yeah, of this. Don't step on the other side. I don't think we have the insurance for that. We oh have the my. insurance for this part, not Dude, for that you part. you die there. Yeah, no, you would definitely fall to your death. So we're actually sitting on two acres. It's okay. not obviously two flat acres, but, but like, like this is part of your this property, is right? This is all you, this is all you. How do they secure the weight of this house in and over this hill? Mostly with caissons. So yeah, it's so just you're like, gonna have like building a tower. Yeah, so you're gonna just, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a geological study done. Okay. Right? You're gonna find out what kind of soils you have to work with. You're gonna find out where the bedrock is. Okay. You're gonna find out how deep down you have to drill in order okay. to hit that bedrock. The good news is like in an earthquake, there's nowhere safer to be than right here. Like this is literally cemented into the bedrock. And then this is the guest wing over here. So there's one, two, another third one behind it, a four, five guest suites all over on this side. Everything opens to the outside. It's LA. Now this hallway is just just takes you to this hallway like has garage and guest rooms. Three bedrooms on the right. Okay. Two bedrooms at the end of the hallway up. There's uh, access to the garage. There's a back kitchen here. Okay. There's a home office down there. Okay. There's basically an entire house just on this wing. Okay. But we're gonna go down this way. Okay. This is a Swarovski crystal chandelier. This is made up of 55,000. 55,000 individual. 55,000? Individual. You'll see when we get down to the bottom level, it kind of lays out like a gown. It's unbelievable. So the entire upstairs reserved for the primary suite in a palace like this. This is truly like the presidential suite. And it was designed wow. that way. It was designed to be like a presidential suite at a five-star hotel. You know, your neighbors don't suck, right? Quincy Jones is across the street. Okay. That's Anthony Pritzker's estate right there. He's the Love heir to Quincy. the Hyatt Hotel chain. Hey, Pritz. Uh, Michael Bay, obviously famous film director, is just right down the street. I mean, how do you price something like this? You know, because like, I'm, I'm used to New York, right? Where yeah. you've got, everything looks exactly the same. Yep. Everything's stacked on top of each other. You're like, well, that one, this one, this one. You can't just do it by acreage or by no. price per foot. Like the cost of these finishes are unlike totally not the same cost that the finishes are going in there. Yeah, uh, it's a combination. I mean, on the one hand, obviously we're looking at the comps, and there are other properties. Yeah, I don't want to say like this, but there are other large estates that have sold in the hundred plus million dollar range. So we're looking at those and seeing how we compare there. But you know, like anything, it's going to be worth what someone's willing to pay for it. Sure. And you know, our feeling is that like this is just like nothing else in the world. In addition to the name, there's also a logo you can see throughout the entire house. This sort of infinity shaped is in the logo. carpets. It's in the carpets. Dude, that's what you need. You'll see it on the staircase. You'll see it on the doors. Okay. You'll see it everywhere. Which just goes to show, all custom done. Dude, this is on. This is insane. Yeah. Oh my! What? I'm like running out of adverbs. Like, what is this? I can't even imagine what it was like when they were designing this. They like made a big shower and the guy was like, no, I'm bigger. This tub is solid marble, it's 3,000 plus pounds. They essentially had to crane this in from the driveway and then basically construct the house around it. Like that's how much this thing weighs. Is this like a swinging towel rack? Yeah. <laughs> like, what kind of detail? Yeah, it's heated. That is so wacky. 
crazy. Come see the closet. So the closets are done by Rosetta. Like oh. nuts. Forget rivals, this trumps any like showroom on Rodeo that you're like in a see. Chanel store right now. Uh, 100%, except like the best one on the planet. And you got his closet on the other side? Oh yeah, we figured we'd give him a place to hang his clothes too. This is like super rich people toilet. The egg, I just like, we never show toilets. Like this is, like when you're so rich, you just have like this egg toilet that just sits there by itself in a little room. It's just connected in the floor. You too, Ryan, may one day have an egg toilet. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Only if I work a little bit harder. Wow, crazy. Get skylights bringing in the air. It's pretty great. I think we should go downstairs. Okay. okay. Is this like where you put your keys? You know, I don't know. We put booties in there, but I don't know what other purpose it serves, if I'm being honest. Where probably you put like candy. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger treaters come over and it's just like diamonds. Just, like, just passing out diamonds. <laughs> so you do when you have a house like this. If you're that rich, That's actually I just, really fun I just give you my rubies. All right, Good. let's go downstairs because right, this is actually the star of the show. Welcome to your own private nightclub. Holy mother. And then check this out over there. You see that coming up? What is this? This is a five car rotating elevator lift that essentially acts as an art installation inside your nightclub. So an art installation for your supercars yeah. inside your own nightclub. Because you're gonna have a few million dollars worth of cars if you own a house like this, so why not put them on display inside the nightclub and How they can rotate? How do you get rotate. them in here? So you pull in from upstairs, right? You come oh, in through oh, the- Oh, that goes all the way up this to the garage? all the way up. Look, dude, it looks like we're inside like the clock tower at Big Ben. This is insane. Yeah, also, see these chandeliers? Sensuchi crystals. Yeah, it took them the better part of three months just to be able to hang all of these with a laser. Unbelievable. When you first saw this house, were you just like, the, what the? Basically all the same adjectives, like what the, f how do you, what the, why, yeah, yeah, all of them. And the cool thing about this is this can actually lift up and be moved out so this whole thing becomes a dance floor. Are you, you are serious? I'm being totally serious, yeah. You can actually lift this up, not like you and me by hand, right, it's not like, not like that. Not like that? Okay, so it's no. not like on wheels? No, no, but you can actually come in here and lift this up and move it out. So like, you could, dude, you could have a wedding, wedding down here. Just gonna you have a wedding down here. We just found the dinosaur. Is this like a fabrication or is this like a real? I'm not really at liberty to say. I want a dinosaur in my house. I want to say it's not common, but like, I've seen a few dinosaurs in a few houses in LA, believe it or not. It's like, it's a thing. That's why um, you're just like, oh, the dinosaur, that one? Okay, come this way. You gotta see this first. Okay. Check this out. So, this is the wine room, but from this vantage point, you can actually see, so, that's custom Murano glass, that chandelier. Wow. That was modeled after a dress that Jackie Onassis once wore. So it's actually designed to look like a flowing dress. Wow. And this is all a custom installation of, boop. You pop the bottles in there. Oh my And then this God. is my, this is my favorite part of the house. You're gonna love this, dude. You have your own ice box. So cold in here. Put on the fur. So this is all made out of this is hand carved acrylic to kind of make it look like an igloo. Have you ever had this? Legit the best vodka on the planet. Is it? Yeah. You want to try some? Okay. It's legit, dude. I'm telling you. I wore a t. I wore a, I, I came to LA. I've got like a little t-shirt on. It's how you get people to buy big expensive shit. You, just, you get them drunk. Yeah. You, just you get them drunk. Get them drunk. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Opa. Opa. There you go. All right. There you go. Hmm. Wow, what's that line? Very clean, I'm telling you. Very nice. If you're gonna buy, you know, one of the most amazing houses in the world, you have to have the best liquor in the world. It's like, this is legit an ice box. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's so cold. While in your nightclub, if you wanna smoke a cigar or smoke yeah. something else for that matter, come on over here, you can see it'll immediately click on. Sucking the smoke out. Yeah, yeah. and then check it out if you wanna store your, look at this. The gold plated. Crazy. Oh, 
You think I, 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 I don't know what you're saying here. Yeah. yeah. That's what we have actually have in the description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much, that's how you describe it. All right, let's go back over this way. So you have a Peloton studio. Yep. This is why there's a Peloton store shortage during the pandemic. 100%. This guy we bought all of them. Bought all of them. Rock climbing wall. Because, you know, you have to have one of those. You got the tonals, of course, right? So you're set up. And then you got the sunken spa. You got your massage room, a steam room oh, table. Come on, look at this. This. Oh. I would just lay here and just think about my life. The house is just nuts. Bonkers. Have you ever seen anything like this? And then lockers. Lockers. Yeah, you know, change room. And just because we weren't sure who was gonna buy the house, we figured we'd take a couple guesses at it. So in case Bernard or No comes, we got his lock ready. If Jeff Bezos decides to come over or Bart suck. or yeah. part of the wall gates. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Carl just Swift, sure that we're Ellison, ready. Buffett. She just picked all the billionaires. Putin! Oh, that's a sore subject at the moment. Yeah, exactly. We there need to take that one down. That's but... Ah! Perfect timing. Pick some candy if you want it. Wow. Dude, this sound system, the sound is in me. Wait, let me see if I know the movie. Oh wait, my head is here. Oh, this is like mystery science theater. And I'm like, what? Up, oh, sounds a little Bondy. You're on the right track. Between your indoor theater and then your pool theater and then every other TV in every other room. Yeah, take your I pick. I love that they got the vertical screen here to like show what's playing. You can. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this will say like Casino Royale and then you come in here and you watch a movie, you grab your candy, you got your popcorn machine, you even have this if you want to just have a glass of a certain kind of wine. What are the taxes on this house? Oh, yeah. for Christ's sake. Um, well, we pay about one and a quarter percent of the purchase price. That's, so it's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. You carry the one that's, yeah. it's a lot. Yeah. So there are four staff rooms. And one of the cool things, I'm gonna have to go down there, but is that they're actually housed like in the chamber of the house. Okay. Right? So rather than like taking up a bunch of valuable real estate, we were like actually inside the house. This is kind of cool. Like we always show just like the fancy shit. Like you have the, the laundromat, which is here. That is all fully stocked. Like between the gain and the ultra soft, you're good to go. You don't have to go buy your own laundry detergent if you buy this house. Obviously we provide that. Casino seen always go crazy. Okay, so you got staff rooms. Yeah. Should we put the staff? We have to get a bed, no windows though. Yeah, staff, staff. Staff. Okay. So Back three staff quarters here. It's a great staff bathroom. Yeah. So you can close this off. You're good. That's it? Yeah. Because you need a staff to run a house like this. You don't. I mean, you don't, full on staff. Yeah, you don't like live a here 10 person staff. And then obviously when you're having a big party down here and entertaining this many guests, you gotta have a place to make all their food. Oh, wow. Yeah, proper kitchen. This is like, it's just a huge industrial chef's kitchen yeah, back yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. Prepping everything. Yeah, dude, look at you have these huge walk in Holy fridges, shit. walk in freezers. Dude, come see this. Look at these refrigerators in this house. Crazy. Oh my god, this is like where you put people and you lock the door. Don't. I actually we did that in a showing once and I, it terrified me for a couple of seconds. But you get out. I got out. But you can't get out from inside. Well, not if you lock it. <laughs> But like, if you go in there to get like a head of lettuce and it closes behind you, I'm, you not, even, I'm not even fucking with that. I don't even trust you. No way. Like, oh, what happened? What happened to him? It's so crazy. Uh, you guys want to see a security room? Yeah. All right, the guts. Now we're in the guts. This is stuff we never show. Oh, it's so nice and warm in here. This is what makes the house the house. This is what makes it function. This is insane. Whoa. This is the don't fuck with me room. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god! The gas masks? In case there's like a poisoning I event? I don't know, this is just the don't mess with me. Just, there's like just assault rifles? There's belts for more ammo. <laughs> and there's a, look at this vest. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is the come at me bro room. This is the don't fuck with me room. 100%. The grenades are in there. Dude, LA has such cooler real estate than New York. Every broker that comes in from New York says the exact same thing. Like it's just like, it's so, like it makes us so giddy because 
everything in New York looks the same. Yeah. Go see something at $65 million and it's a four bedroom. Right. And it's just walls and walls and it just happens to be in that building in that location and that's what makes it worth it. Right, it's in an apartment, but it's still, still just an apartment. All right, here it is. Your rooftop deck. You got the hot tub, the fireplace, the TV, and this view. Crazy. This is beautiful. And now all the lights are starting to turn on. Yeah, exactly. The whole city lights up. It's magical at night. I mean, you've kind of gotten to see the house like right as the sun is going down, but like it just gets more and more amazing as it gets darker. Insane. I'm telling you, one of the great wonders of the world, this house. So that's it, man, you've seen it. This is 1200 Bel Air Road, right here in the heart of Bel Air. One of the most amazing houses you'll ever see. $140 million. $139 million 139. for you. $139 million. Yeah. Anything else I need to know about this place? Uh, yeah, if you sell it, there's a 3% commission, so that's about $4 million. $4 million! <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching! Woo!